not just the dead people, but also the conscious people, and then the, the veterans as well, right? The veterans who I can't believe, I can't believe, right? I can't believe. that the veterans sat on the couch. Squeeze up, squeeze up on the couch. Veterans, the veterans got theirs on the couch, squeeze up. And then the doctor, the student of them all, by himself on one big ass couch. So everything that Noble Juali told the Moors has either manifested or is manifesting. As we always talk about, when you get this information that you're more now, you're not Negro black colored, not because Nobu Juali said so, because common sense, I'm not Negro black colored. Because I know what those three things are, among other things, and I'm not those. And there's no way that anybody could convince me that I'm any one of those. All I am is Moorish American, that's it. But that's all I am. That's what makes sense to me, to be in America. It makes sense to be that. Yeah, there's another individual that said that. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm lying with that then. So that makes more sense than calling myself anything else. What that individual did makes more sense than anybody else that I've ever studied under, from, or whatever. Now these, he told us that we're not Negro black color. Right? He told us that we're not Negro black colored. But you'll, you'll see as we go along how these quote unquote Negro black colored ex slave whatever people aren't really talking like Negro black colored ex slave people are supposed to talk. And, and you'll hear. So there's going to be names to write down. Because some of these people have, we can't, they, like, and these are Negro black color slave guys. But then, you know, we always go back to the um, European maxim for subjugation of the Moors. If you want to hide anything from a nigger, put it in a book. Anything. Just, just put it there. Put it in a book. Because only intelligent people read. So 1830, Reverend Peter Williams Jr., first colored Protestant Episcopal priest in the United States. Reverend Peter Williams, Jr. And, and his, one of his speeches, one of his speeches is called, this ex-slave came from Africa guy. This is our country. This is the ex-slave guy, came from slave ship and all that stuff. Came over here, got enslaved by the master, emancipation, all that type of stuff. Okay, a guy who went through that did a speech saying this is our country. How come you're not saying his country is over there where he came from? And there's brother Peter Williams.
first quote unquote color, so first fake Protestant Episcopal priest in the United States. Because really he's a more. And then clearly he's not dressed like a slave. Right. So these are some of the these are some of the individuals that we're gonna go through today. Because it's not even fair. It's not even fair what people did to Noble Juali. It's not even fair. And anybody against him and what he brought is a straight traitor. Traitor, anybody who hears anything relative to Noble Juali and doesn't consider anything. Straight traitor. Because all these black people before Noble Juali are echoing what Noble Juali is echoing. But if you want to hide something from a nigger, put it in a book. That's European psychology. So those are the books that you're going to have to go to in order to get... Everything else could be oral history. Everything else we can do Skype, do a lecture, and you can get information as far as Moorish history, Moorish science, Moorish whatever. We, are, we got the online university as far as more stuff. So we don't have to worry about trying to get that information. Not about the information that these people hid in the book from the niggers. You know, as a black guy, it would make sense to go read those guys' books. Why, why, why cut their books off from your learning? If their maxim is if you want to hide anything from a nigger, who, what they're, that they're going to say, they're the nigger, but no, not nigger, you know, and E.G. and all this type of stuff and, and start playing around with words, right? They're going to start playing around. There is, there is no way that you can get what the Europeans stole from you without reading the books that he hid your stuff that he took from you in. So the whole black whatever this 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 thing, right? This thing, this black, this black concept, misconcept. The people who are involved in that, even though they're black, are supposed to be constitutionalists. Case in point. On this day, the fathers of this nation declared, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These truly noble sentiments have been secured to their author a deathless fame. The sages and patriots of the revolution subscribed them with enthusiasm and pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor in their support. The result has been the freedom and happiness of millions by whom the annual, the, the annual returns of this day are celebrated with the loudest and most lively explosions of joy. But although this anniversary affords occasion of rejoicing to the mass of the people of the United States, there is a class, a numerous class, consisting of nearly three million who participate but little in its joys and are deprived of their unalienable rights 
by the very men who so loudly rejoice in the declaration that all men are born free and equal. Right? And for people who don't know, what just happened is that these guys play with the stuff, so sometimes they cut the stream. Right? Because cause my, my internet's plugged into the thing, so it's not no Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Like, stuff plugged in. And all the other video stuff that I do, no, nothing happens. You no know, problems when I'm editing videos, nothing like that. All of a sudden, these guys. So that's what happens. And yeah, just like Sis said, hit the refresh and you'll be straight. Um, and we're going to go down a little bit because it's, it's, it's insane how constitutional these ex-slaves black guys are. Like if some black guys were on this perspective right here, all we have to introduce to them is that you're not Negro, black, colored. But the reality is, he knows. Right, let's go, let's go, because he goes in. We'll go four pages in to his speech. This is at, you know, 12 font, you know what I mean, whatever, right? Now, this is a black guy. Okay? Now, this is a black guy. A black guy that was a slave or whatever. Right? And then he's fighting for slaves to be free because it's a constitutional right or whatever, right? <laughs> this is a slave talking like this. Okay? This, and then, like we were saying, if black guys, 2016, okay? If, if, if black guys say, we want unity or whatever, okay, adopt what Reverend Peter Williams Jr. is saying, and more so back you with your black power. Don't tell me some comedic, whatever like that. Tell me some constitution. Tell me some case law or something. Don't tell me about some, some you know what I mean, $5,000 European book. Like, if you want the unity, have the mindset like these ex-slaves who say they came over here on a slave ship and they're from Africa and all that. We are natives of this country, black guy. We ask only to be treated as well as foreigners. Not a few of our not a few of our fathers suffered and bled to purchase its independence. We ask only to be treated as well as those who fought against it. We have toiled to cultivate it and to raise it to its present prosperous condition. We ask only to share equal privileges with those who come from distant lands to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Let these moderate requests be granted and we need not to go to Africa or anywhere else to be improved and happy. Black slave guy Let these moderate requests be granted and we need not go to Africa. We need not go to Africa. Why not? Because we're native to this country. We're in the Moroccan Empire now. We're not, we're not slaves of Africa. 